You've probably heard of the principle of Chekhov's gun. If a story directs our attention to a gun in Act 1, then that gun better get fired by the finale. The visual centerpiece of Guillermo del Toro's The Devil's Backbone isn't a gun, but a ticking bomb dropped on a loyalist orphanage by nationalist troops during the Spanish Civil War. Not to worry, though, we're immediately assured that the bomb is inert and the children safe. But meanwhile, each of the adults here is hiding something. Carmen is hiding gold in the orphanage on behalf of the loyalist militia, and she's also hiding an affair with Jacinto, a nationalist sympathizer with a secret of his own. He's trying to steal the gold for himself. And at the same time, the children are probing into the mystery of what happened to Santi, a boy who was killed on the same day that the bomb fell. All these pressures come together to create a volatile situation for these children caught in the crossfire of a war waged by the adults meant to look after them. So it turns out Del Toro's bomb is a bit of a misdirection. The bomb never needs to go off at all in order for everything to explode. <laughs> 